There's Vinny, cowboys and Indians. He's obviously the Indians. And uh, Max is a cowboy and a stagecoach. Uh, we can eat here. Uh, we ain't got no bow and arrow either, so. Yeah. I've been in there, all these little woods and uh, can't find anything. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> What's your reason for trying to nick your stick? I don't think you pick it up, can he? Where's your really told you off? Wait. We're going to tell him off then. Dear, oh dear. He's sitting here looking all shocked. As if he ain't ever been told off by Max before. I'm actually watching him like a hawk. We're in out the woods, hoping, hoping his jacket's going to come off. So I know exactly where he is. So hopefully, the fear he is, that could possibly be where his other jacket is. But at the moment, it's like, I don't know, it's super glued to his bum. It just hasn't come off. Give him a bit of wide berth that time. And again. Cool, that was close, but he knocked his head off. What's he going to do with that? He's going to get in trouble in a minute, isn't he? Hey? Oh dear. Oh, you've been told off, Max. You won't like that, will you? Nah. <coughs> well, cough up, mate, while I get a gold watch. Oh, that was close. He broke my stick there, didn't you? You heard that break. Now we've got half each. Moving around the old lot. What are we trying to do? Judo throw it. If on still nuggy. No? Well, maybe not. Oh dear. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ugh. So Max has always done the same thing. He watches a dog in front, sees which way he's turning, and he cuts the corner. He's smart like that, isn't he? He actually cuts the corner. So he's now he's on the inside again. There's no old roosh smack this dog, I tell you. Oh, what am I going to do with you, Vinny? You're going to cheese him off in a minute, aren't you? Eh? He's going to tell you off again. There's a young German Shepherd over here earlier, the old DDRs, the East German type. And uh, had a little woof woof, and that was it really. The bloke went merrily on his way and we went our way, because obviously I'm looking for his jacket. Oh, yeah. You got your stick, you're happy now, are you? Yeah, are you sure you're happy with that? All right. Yeah, like I say, I spent him four, five, six times longer looking for his jacket. It took Vicky, Vinny, Vicky, who's Vicky? It took Vinny to lose. And, uh, well, a thorough good search. They even put me half Wellington's on. See? They've got freezing cold feet. Dry, but freezing cold. There's, there's no insulation to these little shoes. They're waterproof, but that's about as far as they go. They've also got no sole either, no grip. So if anything's slippery, it's like walking on ice. Uh -oh. I'll walk through the stinging nettles, because you can. Got your joggers on. Not your ankle, but yes, I've got your joggers on. What am I talking about? And, uh, yeah, just like, no idea where this has gone. This is the last time I see Vinny having a good sniff at a dog. Now we came here, I gave Max a groom, <coughs> and we walked up there. Walk down there, and all the little bits of wood, like this one in front of you, I've checked and checked and checked, nothing. But it's a nice jacket, so some chances are somebody's picked it up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you like, oh, I'll say, like that. Right, right, it's my stick now, is it? Hey, you off to back. Oh, yes, you pest. Come here, you pest. Hey! <coughs> Yeah, like I say, as good as gold, Max. Absolutely good as gold. Right then, guys, gonna love and leave you. And, uh, yeah. Uh, see you on the flip side, as they say. 
and his jacket still stayed on. Amazing, isn't it? Oh. I don't think he's trying to nick your sticks though, eh, Max. And you're actually tormenting him, aren't you? Pest. Right, see you later, gate guys. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> You trying to nick my stick and you're in trouble. Look, keep your stick. I don't want it. 